there any praisers in this house? Anybody that loves to praise the Lord? Amen. Joy, are you a praiser? Okay, good. Is there any worshipers in here? All right, praise God. But I'd like you to stand with me then because you've got to take a deep breath to worship God. We're going we're gonna to praise him this evening for his helpless songs. Is that all right? I'm going to sing a song that you may not know, but it's so easy you'll pick it up in a minute. Are you ready? Well, I'm a new creation, and I'm a brand new man. Old things are past. I'm a new creation and I'm a brand new man. Old things are passed away. Well, I'm born again. Well, more than a conqueror. Well, that's who I am. Well, I'm a new creation and I'm a brand new man. Sing it with me. Well, I'm a new creation and I'm a brand new man. How many saved, born again, children of God do we have in the house? You know that you're saved. You know the Lord. Amen. And while that's true, let's sing it one more time. And I'm a new creation. And I'm a brand new man. Old things are passed away. Well, I'm born again. Jackson, it's so good to see you, girl. Wow, praise the Lord. Hey, give our school staff, we got, we, we, got staff from, we got school staff that are here. By the way, those of you might want to know, we have an academy right next door. About 160 children in our academy now. We got the best staff in the world. And we got some children that we get to touch their hearts with Jesus Christ and with the power of God. Amen? How many of you think that's, impo that's important? Does anybody, anybody know by chance uh, what uh, 22, this is 2022, right? Am I right? It's not 23, you're right. Is it 22? How many, of you, how many of you think you might know in biblical numerology, the numbers in the Bible, how many of you know what 22 means? Light. Light. The number 22 means that it's light. Jesus said, you are the light of the world. Amen. He said, if you, he said, don't put the light on the hill and put it under a basket and let it be hid. Because we are the light. But I thought Jesus was the light. It says in John 1, uh, in the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God. He was the light. Uh, he is the light in us. But when he's in us through the power of the Holy Spirit, now we are the light to the world. Amen. Look at somebody next to you and say, you're light. Now tell somebody, say, it's getting darker, so be stronger with your light. If you really believe it, help me with this song. Well, now this little light of mine, well, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, well, I'm going to let it shine. Well, now this little light of mine. Let it shine. Let it 
many of you have a cell phone? How many of you have a cell phone? Put the light on. Put the light on. We should be light. Amen. Well, now this little light of mine. I said, I'm going to let it shine. Well, now this little light of mine. Oh, well, I'm going to let it shine. Well, now this little light of mine. Well, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. All right. Praise God. Praise God. You can be seated. Well, praise God. How many of you are ready for this incredible drama that we're going to see tonight? How many of you are ready to let the Spirit of the Lord touch you? I want to say one thing before I sit down. First of all, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming out on a Monday night. Our, our drama team has been going since Saturday night, Sunday night, tonight, pouring out their very best, giving it their all. And they're going to do that again tonight for you. And so we appreciate you. I'd like to make sure that your cell phones are turned on, vibrate or turn them off if you would. I keep the aisles open. There'll be a lot of activity up and down the aisles. There's one more thing. I want to say Pastor Bobby is right outside. He's pastor of two, two churches in our Tampa area. Also, uh, works for me at our college office. Where's Bobby? Where is he here? Stand up, Pastor Bobby. <clears throat> Everybody here loves Pastor Bobby Patton. He's the uh, dean of students in our college. And we've got two programs. We have a, 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 a accredited Bible college, Bible college program. We could go from associate's degree all the way to a doctorate. But we also have a practical ministry course that goes for about eight weeks. And it'll take anybody that, that, that needs to know how to serve in the house, how to be a, a believer that can get down where the rubber meets the road and start serving God. It takes about eight weeks to get some of the foundational doctrines. And if you decide that you want to roll into a accredited program, that can be done too. But he's got some material out there if you want to know about it. Uh, would you please ask Bobby at the end of the service and get some information? I think it's one of the best colleges that we uh, have. We've been going for 37 years. Uh, our college program is in Korea and South Korea and China and Japan and Thailand and around the world. And so uh, we're strong. We've been doing it a long time. And like I said, I think it's one of the most best programs that there is. So please see Pastor Bobby. Praise God. Brother Carl, will you come? Amen. This is an active church. Amen. Pastor showed me some of the missions and the pictures of where they've been around the world. I think it's amazing. Look at these flags. This is a church that's not asleep. Amen. My kind of church. Amen. Love it. Hey, now you didn't tell me to say this, but I'm going to say if you don't have a home church, you might just want to, you might just want to just take up residence. They love you. They, they, they got things going for every age. And helping you grow and think in the things of God. Isn't that awesome? Church can be exciting. And putting this on, Pastor, I want to thank you for having us come as a ministry. And I know you've had us before, but it's so good to get to know you too. And, and realize we know a lot of the same folk that uh, I can say they know us now. <laughs> right? And, uh, and I know Pastor Darren's done a lot of work and coordinating and on the phone with me back and forth. And. And uh, I told the cast tonight, you know, I could tell, and believe me, I've been doing this long enough that uh, uh, for years, Kathy and I. I mean, you know, when you raise your kids from before birth, Kat, when your wife says, you've got to stop this week, you've got to take time out for a week because the baby is coming, you better listen to your wife. And I did. And our daughter was born, and, and I made a little cradle, made a little bed over our bed, pastor and a little crib and uh, she stayed in that for a while and my son was three and we've been going at it ever since raised them when they graduated grade 12 on the road we did I mean you know when your kids graduate and you're teaching them but they love Jesus 
they travel the world with us. And uh, but uh, it's a great that that God loves the world. So thank you, Pastor, again. And we've had two great nights. You're in for another awesome night. How many did you? I don't know if you ask. How many have not seen Heaven's Gates? It's your first time or being here, never seen Heaven's Gates before. Raise your hand. Let's get an idea. Wow, that's I say a good two thirds or eighty percent of you. That's that's great. And we want you to enjoy this night. And I'm going to show you a little video clip. And Pastor said it'd be good to do it again tonight. How many of what's happening in Ukraine? You're watching the news. Some we have teams there. Heard from them today and thanked us for helping, Pastor. So thank you. Uh, they just had more refugees come from some of those war-torn cities. I looked at some pictures. It just break your heart. Kids and their feeding. Uh, we're helping them with medical, doing what we can as we share God's love, but feeding them, giving them bedding, whatever they need. And one pastor in that city, Maripol, that got in the south of Ukraine, that got pretty well obliterated. You watch the news. Uh, they had some families come, and one of the pastors there said, look, I can't leave, but here's my car. He said, I've got a bicycle. You take your family and go. And that's who Nick has taken care of, of hundreds of others. So uh, I'm going to watch this video, and then pastor's going to come let you know how you can help if you want to do that, because let I me mean, know we need to take care of our brothers and sisters. We're blessed. And as pastor comes in a moment, watch this video, and these lights can go down. Hi guys, uh, I am Nick from Ukraine and I am a part of your reality family and also a bishop in the central part of Ukraine. All of you know that now we have a strong war in Ukraine and that's why a lot of refugees trying to escape from the war were bombing and rockets falling down and our cities uh, are destroyed trying to escape from east to the west so we are in the central part of Ukraine trying to help all of them. So we are giving them accommodation, food, and trying to help with uh, repairing of their vehicles. So we are so thankful for you, for your prayers. Thank you so much, and God bless you. Peace on your families, peace on your churches, and on your countries. I hate this sound. It's so awful. Oh God, help us. Friends, we literally have our national team with feet on the ground in the Ukraine. They are desperately asking for our help. So we need you to help meet this very urgent need of supplying food, accommodations, transportation, and even medical needs. You can make a difference today. You can call or see a team member or on your screen it will show you how you can give through our ministry. Thank you for answering the call. God bless you. Praise God. How many of you? How many of you pray every day and have a heart for our brothers and sisters and people we don't even know, family members and children and adults uh, that are dying over there because of this war? How many of you think it's just heartbreaking? How many of you feel it? I can't hardly watch the news because of it. It just breaks my heart. And, and my friend Ken Gubb, he's involved in two or three churches over there, probably the same churches as Brother Nick has. but. Uh, he calls he calls me every other day and we check and see if they're doing okay but here's what we want to do we want, we want to give us as a church here an opportunity to do something uh, for Ukraine in the back of your pews there ought to be a pink envelopes back there if you want to give uh, a love gift to the Ukraine we, we're going to make sure we uh, give some give some money to them and help them uh, that money's going to go uh, go with Carl when he when he heads back uh, but if you want to help, you can do something. And also, how many of you know it takes, it takes money to do produ productions like this? It takes money to make these things happen. 
And if you want to help Faith Outreach Center, uh, we've already had, listen, we've had 65 people giving their heart to the Lord already. And did you hear me? 65 people. How many of you know you can't, you can't, put, you can't put a price on a soul? No matter what it takes, uh, we're going to be a soul-winning church. We're going to reach out and touch the hurting and the lost. We want to mend up the broken, and that's what we do here. And if you want to have a part of Faith Outreach Center and help us uh, with some of the expenses, use the white envelopes and put an offering in there. You can just put Faith Outreach, or you can just put in the envelope, or whatever you want to put your information in there, whatever you want to do is fine. And the pink envelopes will be for Ukraine. The white envelopes will be for Faith Outreach Center, that we can continue to take the gospel, spread it around the world. Amen. And so we appreciate you, and we love you. Ushers, will you come? Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we ask right now that you bless my special brothers and sisters that are in this house uh, for their faithfulness, for their heart to give, and Lord, for their willingness to reach around the world uh, to touch another country that's in desperate need. And bless this offering and bless the ones that are giving to Faith Outreach Center that we can continue to do these kind of uh, dramas and demonstrations of the power of God. And Lord, I ask that you bless each and every one here in a special way. And God, we just thank you for the opportunity to serve you again. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Thank you again for your faithfulness, for your love, for your willingness to be here tonight. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Remember, we want to try to keep the movement down in the aisles and in and out the door over there because our, our team, we have probably about uh, 40 people that will be taking care of this drama. They'll be moving up and down the aisles. They'll be uh, busy doing the things that they have to do. And we want to make sure that they have plenty of space and plenty of time to do it uh, so they're not hindered in any way. Can I hear an amen? And I want to thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, Brother Carl. Thank you, Pastor. Again, thank you for your giving and uh, for supporting this ministry and the church, putting this on. As Pastor says, it does cost. So if you couldn't give even to Ukraine, we're just glad you're here. Will you just pray for them and uh, support this place? And if you're from a different city, different place, we're just glad you're here. Brought a friend or you're back. I mean, you're back again from the last two nights. Anyone that say I'm repeating? Awesome. Great. Great. And the cast have worked hard. And, and Pastor Dan, are we good to go on your, okay? Uh, we clap loud enough. And they, I, we, can we just clap? The cast will hear us. They have worked and they have put all schedule, work schedules. We love them. And uh, we thank the cast. And they're they're doing this. They're going to give their best for you. So as you watch this and view this right now, open your heart to truth. As these lights go down in a moment, all right, you're going to experience one of the greatest love stories that you could ever listen to and hear and view, uh, the love of Jesus. Jesus gave his life for us. You know, it's soon be Easter time again. We celebrate it once a year, but for us that love God, it's Easter all the time. We're, we appreciate what Jesus has done in our life, but it's a special time. I mean, it was more than just an Easter bunny. And I like the chocolate, but let me tell you, Jesus paid the ultimate price for us. And as you view this, open your heart to God's love. Uh, young, young and old, you see, before we die, we've got to make a clear, honest decision as to where we're going to spend our eternity. I can't make it for you. Your friends sitting beside you can't. Uh, I remember one guy, and I just reminds me, I do have, you saw the table out there, this is available after. I had one guy, he was in, you know, the, a thrift shop, I think it was the Salvation Army store, saw this thing called Heaven's Gates, it was a VHS, picked it up and watched it and said, Jesus loves me. Gave his heart to Christ. I've had people pick up tickets half torn and saw the date was good, in the ditch, come in, say, ha, oh, I found new hope in Christ. You know, you're not here by chance, I just say that to you, God has allowed you to be here. To view what you're going to view. We prayed for you before you came. That you would enjoy this night. So as you watch this. Remember. Not only does God love you. But it's, it's God's heart that none of us miss heaven. Eternity is real. And the Bible says very clearly. That one day we're going to stand before God. 
I'd rather say yes to God now with a willing heart than because it says every knee is going to bow. Every tongue is going to confess. That means the good. I, I mean, that means the bad. You, you name it. Their eyes are going to be open to truth. But tonight as you view this, realize this. God created you for purpose. He's got plans. Despite what you might think of yourself, God loves you. Sin separates us from God. But Jesus came and built a bridge. Wow. So we can know what it is to have a communication and a connection with him that can lead us in life and lead us right into heaven with him. We can't lose with him. Will you witness this great love story, the love of Jesus through the drama, heaven's gates and hell's flames? began. A war has raged for the souls of mankind. A war between good and evil. Between God and Satan. Edith, you will be like God. The Father's story of justice and grace. But more than these, a story of love. Forgive them, for they know not what they do. Yeah. 
is... is... finished. Jesus was taken up into heaven, where he took his place of authority at the right hand of God. The book of life was opened. Those not found written in the book will be cast into the lake of fire. But those who believe in Jesus Christ will receive eternal life. Blessing and honor and glory and power belong to the one who sits on the throne forever and ever. you were away. I miss being there. Are you doing okay? Are you feeling all right? I'll be okay. This body is getting old and I just have a few aches and pains. It's just a matter of time for the warranty is up on it. Well, I'm praying for that warranty to be extended for many more years yet. You're so sweet. Thank you for that. You know, Jennifer, I'm ready to go home anytime the Lord is ready to take me. The Lord has been so faithful to me. I can't wait to see his face. And I'm just praying that all my family is in heaven with me. Well, Ms. Goodman, I just want to tell you what an inspiration you've been to me in my life. Ever since I started this church, you embraced me with the most wonderful hugs and you've always made me feel so special. You are special, honey. God made only one of you, 
and you are very special and don't you forget that. Oh, thank you, Miss Goodman. You're so good. But I better get going. Of course, Jennifer. Oh, Jennifer. Yeah. I want you to know how blessed you've made this old lady feel today. Of course. You always make me feel special. Thank you for everything. I love you. Love you know you I too. do. I'll see you on Sunday. Okay. Good day. Thanks. Oh. Miss Goodman. Oh, my heart. Miss Goodman. Somebody oh. please help. Call 911. Miss Goodman. Oh. beautiful angels oh it's so beautiful I can't wait I'm really in heaven and I'm young again and my hands don't hurt and I can bend and I can dance oh praise the Lord I have a new body and look there's the angel with the book of life angel I know my name is in that book it just got to be in that book because I've been praising Jesus ever since I was a little girl. Praise the Lord. Just think, I get to see Jesus and all of my friends and I'll never be alone again. It was worth it all to serve Jesus. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Oh, hey. Well, hello, son. How are you? Mom, you know, I was wondering if I could go to the youth service tonight. You know, Pastor Jim. Yeah, I asked if I could come. Oh, great. You will have a good time. I'll drop you off. <laughs> well, actually, that's the funny part. I was hoping if you would let me drive tonight. I promise, I promise, I'll come home straight after service. Son, remember what happened last time when, you took away, when we took away your keys? You came, you promised not to drink, and you drink anyways. I just want to go to church. If you don't trust me, I'll just stay home. Okay, son. Okay, I'll tell you what. If you go straight to church, come straight home by 10 o'clock. How's that? Peek your promise. Okay, great. You promise now. Straight from church and come home. Okay? okay? I love you, son. Be careful. I will. Hey, yeah, she bought it. How lame can she get? You got the beer? I'm talking about the good beer. All right, I see you in five. You know, actually, a few Sunday services, I think, ago, you know, Pastor Jim, you know, the church leader, you know, always talk about Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, like, you know, hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, yeah, I see him on Fridays when he comes to school for lunch. Talking about Jesus and living on us, it's so stupid. Well, actually, Sean has been with us a couple times. Well, I kind of liked the youth service. It was fun. Maybe we should go. I don't want to get wasted tonight. You really buy into that stuff? 
Heaven and hell? Hey, if there is a hell, I want to party there with all my friends. <clears throat> Sean, you're crazy. Come on, guys. I don't want to get wasted tonight. I promised Pastor Jim that I'd be there. Why can't we go? I promised Pastor Jim. Well, I don't want to step foot anywhere near that place just to let you know now. Some of those church kids who go to church every Sunday go around and party every other day. Amen. Hey, have a beer. I'm Listen good. Up. I'm good. I already gave my life to Jesus. You can drink that if you want. <gasps> Aww. Well, if you guys don't want to go, you can drop me off by ch the church. Okay. <laughs> you got two options. You see? Two. Get drunk or get out. I'm good. Goodbye. Oh. Well, in that case, I call shotgun. Some friend. See you around, jerk. Guys, well, it's okay. We're way better off without her. Well, now that she's gone, how about we get this party started? Cheers. Joe, turn here, take a chance and catch the chat. Yeah, I think we'll get this in a few minutes later. Joe, what is wrong with your car? The car! It's gone! It's gone! It won't start! 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 It won't Did I really beat my mom to heaven? No, 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 no. Joe, this... what did you do? We're... No, it can't be true. It's not happening right now. Oh, man. We should have listened to Sean and Pastor Jim. You really think so now? We were fools. We? <laughs> As in we? Joe, this is all your fault. Look what you've done. <laughs> you... my, no, my, my, shush. My... Let me finish. You said they were crazy. Your mom, your pastor, everyone. They all told you and you knew it. Now look how you're acting. Some friend. We should have listened to Sean. Angel, look up my name, please. Forget her. Angel, ain't this the book of life? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look up my name. Are you serious? Don't look up his name. His name's not even in the book. Our names are in the book. It's all his fault. My? It's your fault. It's, it's your fault. Andos. Bye. <laughs> Jesus loves you. If you're here today and you're thinking about making some changes in your life, you want to commit your heart to the Lord, join me here and we'll pray together. Thank you. Bless you, brother. Thank you for taking steps of faith. Bless you. Thank you for joining me.
Everyone got their seatbelts on? Yeah, but Taylor does it. Taylor, honey, buckle up, please. So what's for lunch today, babe? Oh, no. I forgot about lunch. Do you know how Sundays are in our house? Oh, that's all right. We'll go out for lunch. Kids, where do you want to go for, lun for lunch? McDonald's. KFC. McDonald's. KFC. Hold McDonald's. KFC. McDonald's. It. KFC. That settles it. You know, they get this from your side of the family. Yeah, yours. So, um, we're going to Cracker Barrel. Oh, Dad. <clears throat> so, um, wasn't that a great service today, babe? Hey, what are you thinking about? Oh, um, <clears throat> I was just thinking, I was just thinking about our little girl, Sarah. I don't think I will ever get over the tragedy of her death. She was so young. Yeah, I, I know that hurt. We were so angry, blaming each other, even God. The hurt was so strong. But I'm glad we didn't close ourselves off from each other or the friends that tried to help. Yes. Even when we pushed people away, God brought the right person at the right time. Even sometimes I didn't want to get out of bed or we were against each other. But God was there. You know, I stopped blaming God this morning. I was just thinking about all the beautiful memories with Sarah. I just felt God in a completely different way today. If it weren't for him and his strength, what he's given us, I don't know what we'd have done. Yeah, Jesus was with us every step of the way. Taylor, how many were in your Sunday school class today? There were close to 20 kids, Dad. Our room was packed. Dad? Yeah, Chris? Thank you for taking me to the altar this morning. I feel so good since I let Jesus into my heart. Chris, I'm so proud of you, baby girl. We, it just, it takes so much courage, so much courage to go up to that altar and give your life to Christ. I'm so proud of you. And you know what, Chris? Sarah. Sarah gave her life to Jesus, too. And we're proud of you, both of you. You are very important to your dad and me. And now that you are accepting uh, Jesus into your heart, we are a complete Christian family. Look out! All the angels. Mom, Dad, come here quick. Wow. Wow. It's so beautiful. Yes. This is heaven. This is what we lived our life for. Oh, babe, it's so wonderful. Kids, look, it's the book of life. Yes, the book of life where everyone who has accepted Jesus, 
Their name is written in that book. Dad, is my name going to be in that book? Chris, do you remember this morning when you asked Jesus to forgive you your sins and to come into your heart? Well, when you did that this morning, your name was written in that book. Mom, let's ask. You asked Taylor. Wow. Angel, look up our names, please. We are the Smith family. Beautiful. Mom, Dad, Chris, and me. Read reservations for four. We should have taken the stairs like I said. Goodness, this is the oh. third drill this month. And I'm, listen, I am tired of going up and down those stairs, but we still should have taken them, Miss Shelby. <sighs> but don't worry, somebody will get us out. I sure hope so. I have Bible study tonight and I don't want to miss it. You're facing your greatest fear and all you can think about is Bible study? Yes. You are more trapped in religion than you are this elevator. Oh, it, Jessica, it's not about religion. It's about a relationship with Jesus. Hmm. It doesn't seem that way to me. It seems the same. Relationship. relationship. Oh, we, it's, it's all about a relationship with him. Actually, he wants to have a relationship with you. I don't know, Miss Shelby. <sighs> have you asked him into your heart as your Lord and Savior? And what would my friends think if I did that? It's not about what your friends would think. It's about you and your relationship with Jesus. Well, listen, it's, it's not just my friends. Come on. You know, that new guy that started working at the office recently? Mm -hmm. He's kind of cute, right? <laughs> I'm cute too. And um, I just, you know, I don't want to come off as a religious nut. He's been paying me a lot of attention. And plus, Miss Shelby, I've been to your church. And the same people that's there in, hold on, hold on. I've been to your church. And the same people that's there on Sundays are in the club with me on Fridays. I'm just saying. That wow. to me sounds like a hypocrite. Well, some people that say they are a Christian aren't really a Christian. Mm. It still feels the same to me. I'm sorry. Well, again, it's about a personal relationship with Jesus. And all you have to do is ask him into your heart. I don't know, Miss Shelby. Look, I know you're saying this because you love me yeah. and you care about me, but I'm still young. I got a lot of life <coughs> to live. <coughs> Let's talk about this another time. <coughs> we need to figure out what's going on with this elevator. Like, hold up. <coughs> hey, hey, hey! Hey! Somebody get us out of here! Help! Help, please! Help!
Oh no. Where are we? Oh, how beautiful. Oh, look how beautiful the angels are. Angels. We're 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 in heaven. This is heaven's no, gate. No, 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 no. This can't be heaven. I'm not ready for oh, heaven. Praise the Lord. No, no, no. Don't praise the Lord. Yeah. I'm not ready for heaven. I just said that. This can't be heaven. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it, it. no, 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 no. Ain't this this must be heaven then? If angels. there's angels. Mm, no, 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 no. Miss Shelby, I'm not ready for heaven. No, pray with me. Pray with me, please. Pray with me right now. I, I didn't give my life to God. I, I thought I had time. Oh. Please do something. Do something, Miss Shelby. Come on. Please. Oh. Come here. No, 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 no. What am I going to do? Angel, the book of life, is my name in there? alone by myself. Gosh. Stupid hypocrites. Look at me. Can somebody help me? Can somebody help me? I don't want to go to hell. Angel. Is my name in that book? I've been good. I, I haven't done anything wrong to nobody. I don't hurt nobody. I'm on my business. Please, just see. Come on, come on. You're not looking. Look in the back. You're not looking hard enough. Come on. Look in the front. No, no. No, 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 Demons, take her to hell. No, 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 please. Please, I don't want to go. Please, no. No, 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 no. No, please, no. I don't want to go. Stop. Stop it right I'm sorry. Jesus, save me. No. Hypocrites. I love hypocrites. Nice guys. Just make sure this wall is good and secure. Don't need anybody getting hurt. Hey, you two guys, get back to work. All right, get off my back, you jerk. What did you say? Uh, oh, I said I gotta get back to work, boss. You're gonna get caught one of these times, Butch. Ah, uh, that guy rides me so much, I feel like I should be wearing a saddle. These buckets are here. Why don't we take it? Punch a little bit early. I think it's only a couple minutes. Well, let's sit over here by this wall you've been working on. Mm -hmm. All right. Tough morning. 
Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. They're really working us hard on this project. Oh, boy. I tell you how much my little lady loves me. Every day's like a treasure hunt. Oh, oh. Here we go. Peanut butter. And what's that? Ketchup. I thought she loved you. She does, but you know what this means, don't you, Pete? She's pregnant again. Again? Yeah, again. How many times does this make? Five? I don't even know anymore. I just pat them on the head when they go out the door in the morning. Well, I know my wife loves me. I'll share my lunch with you. Oh, 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 oh. You're a good buddy. Yes, yeah. sirree. Oh! <laughs> Oh, what is that? Remember last night dinner I was telling you about? Oh, yeah. It's back. Oh, and it doesn't set well in a hot lunchbox either. I know. Whoa. Liver and lettuce. Well, oh, no. so Come much for you. lunch. Oh. <sighs> and I was so looking forward to that gourmet meal. <laughs> hey, did you ever think about that? topic we were talking about the other day. Oh, you mean that Jesus stuff? Yeah. Yeah, I've been thinking about it. But I don't know. Seems like, don't you just think it's a little childish? It's, yes. The Bible tells us that you have to have childlike faith. I just don't know. Even a child can accept him. Yeah. But what's it? What's he going to do with an old drunk like me? Yeah, I just... I've been a carouser, bad dude, all my life. You know? If he accepted me, he'll accept you. Well, you got a point there, Pete. Oh. I just... I just know. I've been thinking about it. I'm, just, I'm not sure yet. Well, let me tell you about myself a little bit. Okay. You remember we used to go drinking and, and I'd oh, drink yeah. all night long with you guys. Yeah, we were drinking animals. all of our paychecks. Yeah. Oh man. But the next day I would have just this empty feeling inside of me. I just I just felt terrible. Then one day a buddy of mine invited me to church and the preacher preached a message of God's love and and I just uh, it convicted me. I had so much sin and guilt in my heart. I, I just I just had to muster up enough courage to go to the altar and, and uh, right then and there I gave my life to Jesus and he, he cleansed me of my sin and the burden lifted. I was just so happy. It changed me. It made a difference in my life. It sure did change you. Yeah. You and I have been working together a long time and I remember Monday mornings you'd come in here just as hungover as the rest of us. Looked like something the cat dragged in. Just like me. <laughs> he said, but lately, I come in here on Monday mornings, and I hate that stupid grin you got on your face. Is it this Jesus that makes you happy all the time? Yes, it does. Well, maybe there really is something to this then, because I've seen how he's changed you. And if he can do that for me, then I really need to think about this. Well, you know, we, we still have time left on our, our break here. Why don't you consider accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Well, right here in front of all the guys? Man, I got a reputation to live up to. Yeah? It's simple. All you gotta do is pray the prayer that I pray. Pray? i never even been to church, man. I don't know how to pray. Well, I'll help you. How about if I pray and you pray after me? Would you do that for me? Yes. Yes. Okay. All okay, right. the coast right, is clear? Let's do that. Yeah. All right. Let's get serious here now. Come on, man. Whoa. Get 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 reverend here. Whoa. All right. You, oh, okay. Oh, oh. Got double layer. Oh. All right. Just repeat after me. Dear Lord. Dear Lord. I know I'm a sinner. I know I'm a sinner. And I know you love me. And I know you love me. So Jesus. So Jesus. I believe in you. Yeah, I believe in you. I ask you to forgive me of my sin. I ask you to forgive me of my sin. And help me to turn from my sin. And help me to turn from my sin. 
and make you Lord of my life. And to make you Lord of my life. Amen. Amen. How does that make you feel? I feel pretty good, you know? I feel like his load's been lifted off my that, back. That's awesome. Ow. I told you. I, I great. I, I told you. You're great. I told you. You really bring down the house. Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh, total, we ain't Kansas anymore. Gold. Silver. Angel. Angel. Another one. I must be dreaming. You're real. You're real. You wait right here. Pete, Pete, hey Pete, Pete, come on, come on, come on, come on, get up, get up, come on. Hey, hey, hey Pete, where are we? Wow. Pete, wow. where are we? Wow. We're, we're in heaven. We're in heaven already. I didn't know it was going to be this fast. Look. It's the angel. What is that? That's the book of life. The book of life? The book of life. That's the book of life? The names are written in there are going to heaven. What? We found the book of life. We found the book of life. We found the book of life. Hey, 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 hey. You say that's where the names of everybody going to heaven? That's right. Well, what if my name's not in there? That's simple. They're going to hell. Oh, I'm going to hell. But, 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 is my name in that book? I don't know. But mine is. But is mine. But how do you get your name in there? Angel, angel. I know my uh, name's hey, in there. How do you get your name in that book? Well, remember that wall? Right, right. We prayed that prayer. Yeah. And remember, your wall fell on us. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, okay. I remember that. Okay. And then we prayed the prayer. That's right. I listened to you. And you, and you followed right after me. So your name's in the book of life. My name's in the book of life? Yes. Yay. I'm going to heaven. I'm going to heaven. I'm going to heaven. I'm going, I'm going to heaven. Angel. Is my, is my name in there? Angel. Angel. Pete, Pete, I know my name's in there. And I'm his buddy Butch. We came in together. Pete, hey, 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 Pete, hey. Pete. <laughs> One line per customer. Oh. Well, what am I going to do? I know it's in there. Keep looking. It's right. That's right. Flip the page. Speed read. <laughs> He's going to heaven. He's going to heaven. Yeah, he's going to heaven. His name's in the book. His name's in the book. His name's in the book. Hey, hey Pete. Where'd you go? Hey, hold on, hold on. Okay, Pete said, do what he did. with an angel. I know I haven't always been a, a good person, but my buddy Pete just a little while ago down there put that sandwich 
He talked to me about Jesus. And for once in my life, I listened. And I asked Jesus to come in my heart and be my Savior and to forgive me of my sins. So please, angel, tell me my name's in that book. It's Butch, B-U-C-H, Butch. Now, you might have to look in the back under new entries because I ain't been here long. Hallelujah, my name's in the book. Gorgeous up there. We made it. Don't you miss it. a good time shopping today, didn't we, Ella? We sure did, Mom. I really like all the new clothes you bought me. Of course. I know you're going to look so good in them. I hope so. You and Dad are so good to me, and I love you both. I was just really hoping that you'd come to church with me. It made me so happy. I know you would, but you know how busy I am, and Sundays are the only days I have to myself. And besides, I do all that charity work. But I'll tell you what, next time you have a big event at your church, you let me know and I'll make sure I'm there for that, okay? But mom, you always say that and you never come. I know, but this time I promise I really need it. Oh, our car's here, let's go, let's go. ready for heaven yet <sighs> don't be silly mom heaven's so beautiful look that angel has the book of life <sighs> the book of life what's the book of life you remember mom i told you many times the book of life is when you accept jesus into your heart then your name gets written in the book <sighs> but i was a good person there has to be another way to get into heaven ella tell them i was a good mom i took you to church every week and i even volunteered at that homeless shelter angel that has to be enough to get me into heaven oh my god it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay and my name has to be in that book you can't separate me from my daughter oh my god it's gonna be okay ella it's gonna be okay oh no Ella, oh, Ella, oh, what's oh, happening? Oh, Ella, what's going on? Oh, Ella, what's going on? Ella, no, what's happening? Oh, Ella, oh, 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 Ella, what's happening? Oh, 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 For this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only son, Jesus, 
so that everyone who believes in him, in Jesus, will not perish. No man needs to perish, but all may have eternal life. Jesus calls. Wow. Have you heard him tug your heart tonight? Have you kind of felt saying, hey, just trust me. It can be okay. Will you bow with me all over this place tonight for the next moment, guys? Young and old, mom, dad, we'll dismiss you in a moment or so, but this is the most important time of this whole night right now when you and I think about, we do a checkup on the inside and say, okay, how about me? I want to ask you this what are you going to do with Jesus how do you treat Jesus what do you think of Jesus after you've witnessed what he's done tonight and just a just a taste of all he went through so you and I could make heaven our home and have him on our side and and lead us in life I tell you he's my hero Jesus the King of Kings the Lord of Lords is who you've seen put on display tonight. But as you watch these scenes, perhaps you said, Carl, man, I'm like that teen scene. I, I got time for everything else, but I mean, party time, do my thing, but, but God. And, and God is not first in your life. I want to ask you this simple question. If you're to get up out of your seat and get into, a, get into your car and head down the road and if suddenly, without expecting it, your life would end. Or early in the morning, you, you, you grab your chest in the very breath that God gives you, that you and I take for granted. Every, even right now, we breathe. Life would end for you. Where would you go? And that minister would say, in three or four days from now, your loved ones would come from across the state and across the city. Say, man, God, he was too young to die. God is my dad. God, my mama, God, my best friend. And that minister would say, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. And all that would be left would be memories of you. Where would you go? The car not looked at it that way. But I got to be honest. Man, I, I watched as they were greeted by Jesus tonight. Woo. I want heaven for me. I want heaven for my friends. I want heaven for my family, for my parents. God, I don't want to miss heaven. And guys, here's the good news. You don't have to. If God has tugged your heart with his love tonight, and you just said, man, Jesus... Will you just take me? God, will you help me live life? Some of you walked in here, you're saying, I, I, I just, I got to have a fresh start. I, I, can't, I can't face tomorrow. Like, I, perhaps you just lost your job or, or you just got some bad news this week. And you're saying, oh God, you know what? All you got to do is try, oh God, cry it out. God says, yeah, I'm listening. You'll be there. You can know before you leave this place that you're not bound for a lost eternity in hell. He came to destroy the works of the enemy. And I tell you, Jesus did a good job. He conquered death, hell, and the grave for you, for you, for you, for me, for our families. So you could know tonight you got that uh, greatest insurance package going. And that's known that Jesus is living on the inside. He's with you. Wow. We're going to pray. If you're here right now, you say, Carl, I... I I, I don't have that assurance, but man, God, if you'll take me, here I am. Jesus, I believe in what you did on the cross, and here's my life. God, just lead me. God, I want that fresh start. If that's you, you know what I'll ask you to do? Let's raise your hand with mine right now. Just sit up and say, Carl, as you pray, remember me in prayer. I want heaven for me. I don't want to miss it. Raise, raise, raise it high. 
You'd be honest to God. Say, I, I don't have that assurance, but I want to know as a teenager. Yeah, over here, down here. As a mom, dad, any others. You say, I, I want to know that I know I'm ready. One more. Slip it up to God. God loves you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Any others? Over here to, to my left, down here. You say, Carl, I don't, have, I don't have that peace and assurance, but I want to tell Jesus. Jesus, if you could do that for me. You did that for me. I want to stand up for you. I want, I, I want to live for you, God. One more. As a mama. As a dad, as a teenager, grandparent, boy, girl, one more. You say, Carl, Jesus, here I am. Thank you. God loves you. God loves you. You might still be here just thinking, man, Carl, it sounds too good to be true. You mean Jesus knows where I live? Yes, he does. He created you. There's no one else like you. He created us. He knows you and he's got plans for us. He's got plans for you. You're important to God. I don't care what people say about you. It's what God says that matters. That counts and he loves you. And if you're here, you say, Carl, I, I, I hear you. All you got to do is take that step of faith. It's a step of faith. You sat in that chair tonight. You didn't think twice that it wouldn't hold you, but you sat down. Now you got to take a step of faith and say, okay, God, I'm going to trust you. He will not let you down. That's Jesus. One more. You say, Carl. I want to trust God. I want God in my life. If that's you, you be honest to God. Just slip it up. You say, I haven't raised my hand, but I want to join with those that did. Slip it up right now. Say, God, it's me. One more. You be honest in your heart to God. God loves you. Yeah, God loves you. God loves you. God loves you. Perhaps you're here too, and you knew God at one time, but you just drifted away from God. You're saying, God, I, I want to come back. God, I... God, just, just take me. That's you. This has been a wake-up call in your heart tonight. Just slip it up. Say, I want to get back on, on track with God. Slip it up. Slip it up. Slip it up. One more. Say, Carl, that's me too. God loves you. God loves you. God loves you. Here's what I want you to do all over this place. In respect to Jesus. Will you just stand with me as we get ready to talk to God all over this auditorium? I want you to stand with me respect to the king of kings and we're going to pray we're going to pray and guys this is a most important moment of this night when you and i say god is me many of you here and you know your peace is made right with god and you're ready and you live the life perhaps it's new to you but you, you might be here you say carl that's me i raised my hand man and i made it to god god i want you to take my life say carl's all scare tactic well i rather you have the truth about hell and what Jesus did to give us new life that he conquered and not you know you know now now it's decision time we can walk out those doors and reject God's love and say another time another time might not come you know that that's take it for what you want that's life that's life Jesus is here for you and if you raise your hand and some of you did young people you did too you made it to God here's what I want you to do for him right now in this free country, in this place where we got freedom of worship, and we can come into a place and just, you know what? Isn't it great to have that blessing of freedom? Wow. No padlocks on these doors. You could get in here. I'm going to ask you to stand up for him now. And as a group, if you raise your hand to God as a music plays, I'm going to ask you to give me the honor of praying a simple prayer right at this stage area with me right now. If you, if you meant it to God, if you didn't raise your hand, but you say, Carl, I got to do this for Jesus. I want to tell God, it's me. Come and join me right now. Come on. Come on. You raise your hand. Come on. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's awesome. Any others? Down here, guys, you raise your hand. That's awesome. That's awesome. Others of you, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Say yes to God. That's awesome. Okay, it takes anybody can follow a crowd. It takes a real man, real lady to stand for truth. It takes God to stand for Jesus. Anybody can follow the crowd. You know what I'm saying? It takes a real man to pull the square of their shoulders and say, real lady, and say, you know what? I get it. God, I can't do it for you. Your friend sitting beside you can't do it. I tell you, heaven is real. Look at that. Give them a hand. Look at these young people. Woo! That's what I'm talking about right here. God loves you. God loves another generation. We pray for that. I tell you guys, listen, the devil is a ripoff. Hell is no joke. I wish it was. Hear me. 
I wish hell was just a joke. I wouldn't be doing this for 30 years. That's why we keep going. Because a devil is a ripoff. He's a destroyer. You'll mess up your life. Some of you know what I'm talking about. Until God got a hold of you, we were messed up. We need Jesus. I need Jesus every day of my life. How about you? Lord, I pray no one leave this place. And God, I pray, God, Lord, that you'll just touch hearts. God, you don't force us, but you says, just trust me. Just let, let, let me show you my plan. And thank you, Lord. I pray you give others the courage to come. God, I pray that no one leave this place without knowing you tonight, God. This Tuesday night, if you're watching my live stream right now, let me tell you, God loves you. You can do it right where you're at, in your home, in your living room. Whatever building or church you're in, wherever you're at right now, around the world, you can watch this. You're watching this. You can say yes to God, too. God's here for you. I want you to do it with those that are standing here. As this reaches out all across on social media, God loves you. You're not watching this by chance. And you that are here right now, we're going to pray. But I'm going to ask you to turn to someone in this auditorium and simply say this. Even if you know you're ready, and just before I pray, perhaps someone else. I had one guy, one, I said, Carl, I didn't come when people came. He said, but someone turned to me and said, I was a young boy, I, I'll walk with you. It was a kid, said, I'll walk with you. And that man walked forward and gave his heart to Christ. And I met him a while back. He said, can I just, just get a picture? And I, I'm not like that. But he said, you know what? I'm a minister in Miami today because someone cared about me. So I'm going to ask you, you're not ashamed of Jesus, to turn to your friend, your neighbor right now, and just simply say, is your name in the book? You're not ashamed of Jesus. I want you to do it before we pray here. And if they are, reaffirm your faith in God. If not, say, man, I'll stand with you, dad, young man, sir. We'll do it together. It could literally mean heaven for you. Just prove who Jesus is. I give you the challenge of your life to prove who Jesus is for yourself. Just don't take my word. I'm not talking about a church. Church will let you down. Preachers will let you down. People, but not Jesus. Not talking about a new religion. The Son of God right now. You want to come? Lord, I thank you for this night. You want to come? Come on. Wait a few more seconds for you. You're worth it to God. You are worth it to God. Yes, you are. God loves you. 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 I've seen him do too much. I'll give him a hand. That's awesome. That's awesome. God loves you. God love you, boy. We love you. God loves you. God loves you. We got to come as children. We got to kill our pride and come as children. Don't let pride, don't let your friends, don't let peer pressure stop you from making heaven your home. Nothing worth missing heaven over. Uh-uh, one more. I got to drive farther than perhaps most all of you tonight, but I'll wait longer for you. You're worth it to God. Thank you, Jesus. Will you just thank Jesus? Come on, just for a second. Come on, he's the king. He's the Lord. He's the master. He's the way. He's the truth. He's life. He's the bridge over troubled waters. You won't be the victim. You'll be, you'll be the victor. That's it. You'll be victorious. You won't be hopeless. You'll be full of hope. That's Jesus. That's Jesus. Yes, I'm glad we wait. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. The guy said to me last week, he said, Carl, he said, and he was involved with us. And he was homeless two years ago. He said, Carl, I, I was homeless. He said, but you know what? God has turned my life around. I'm not homeless anymore. I got a house now. He said, I, I, I want to help. Can I help you? I, I mean, you know, when God touches a life, he touches everything. Woo. Paul said we are complete in him. You don't need any add-ons with Jesus. I'm serious. You're complete when you know Jesus. Hmm. That's for somebody. Don't let any attachments trump Jesus. He's everything. You guys, you come here tonight, young people. Some of this is just new to you. You say, man, Carl, I got it. And I, I don't understand it all. But you know now God loves you. We're going to pray all over this place. And I want you all over this auditorium to pray with me as we pray together. Guys, lift your voice to God. And the Bible says, he says, with our mouth that confession is made. And as you, as you say that from your heart, he hears you. And the miracle takes place in here. He comes in. He don't leave you. When you're hurting tomorrow, he's going to be there. And I want you, any others, you want to come. 
Any others you want to come? That's it, honey. Any others? Mom, dad? Oh, I love these. I love these young people. A new generation here, Pastor. New generation. Ah, I see leaders here. Hallelujah. I see missionaries here. Praise I God. see workers here. Yes. I see mu musicians, yes. Pastor, here. Yes, brother. You got talent. God wants to use it. Come on. America's got talent. God's got talent right here. You're it. Come on. You're special to God. Woo. Yes, you are. Jesus said, I'm the way. I'm truth. I'm life. One more. Just wait another few seconds. You're just, you're just, you're on the edge of your seat. You say, Carl, it's hype. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'll take all this hype I can get because it's real. Amen. Jesus died and cried for you. Hallelujah. And for me. He's not a wimp. He was meek, but he wasn't weak. That's Jesus. He went to the cross. Wow. He could have called the special forces of heaven, and they would have rescued him. But he said, uh-uh. He saw you. He saw you. He saw you. He saw me. Amen. Wow. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Let's pray. All over this auditorium, lift your voice with those. And I'm going to ask you to pray this out loud right now with me as we pray this to Jesus. Mean it, guys. If ever you meant anything, this counts right now. Right now. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. For dying on the cross. For dying on the cross. For me. For me. Tonight. Tonight. This Monday night. This Monday night. I stand here. I stand here. I stand up for you. I stand up for you. Thank you for standing up for me. Thank you for standing up for Come me. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Forgive me of all my sins. Forgive me of all my sins. And wash me clean. Wash me clean. In your blood. With your blood. That was shed on your cross. That was shed on your cross. For me. For me. I believe in what you did. I believe in what you did. I don't understand it all. I don't understand but it all. But tonight, but tonight, I know you love me. I know you love me. So I give you myself. So I give you myself. Lead me in life. Lead me in love. Help me to live for you. Help me to live for From you. From this night on. From this night on. And I will not be ashamed of you. I will not be ashamed of Jesus, you. Jesus. Jesus. I'll stand up for you. I'll stand up for With you. With your strength. Your strength. I'm going to serve you. I will serve so you. Thank you. Thank you for loving on me. For loving on. Thank me. you for not giving up on me. Thank you for not giving up on me. Right now. Right now. You are my savior. You are my savior. My leader now. My leader now. My master. My master. And I am yours. I am yours. And I am ready. I am ready for heaven. For heaven. Amen. Man, Hallelujah. did you give that to Jesus? Come on, I want you to guys just whistle. Some of you can whistle good or clap, do something. Can you just let Jesus know you made it? Come on. Come on in this place. Glory. Woo. You know, I, I, I tell you, I didn't do a whole lot of boxing, but I got some bloody noses when I was a teenager. But I tell you, the devil got a kick in the teeth tonight. Yes, it is. Can I say Amen. it like that? I tell you, Jesus reigns in this place. Pastor, every night we give God praise. Amen, brother. Can we just, Hallelujah. Can we just let an eruption? If the angels rejoice over you guys, over one, I'm serious. That's how real it is. And you're going to see this. Talk to Jesus every day of your life. Get a Bible. If not, they'll give you one. We've got a gift to give you. We want you to have it. All right, can we just, just give one more round of praise to Jesus? All of us. Me too. Come on. And then we're going to give you that. Whoa. Man. Uh -oh. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Amen, Pastor. Amen. Listen, we got something to give him too, right? Yes. I, oh, God is good. I just got a word from the Lord, and I believe this is a word from God. How many of you know God will speak to us right in the midst of a time like this? And here it is. There are some people that are holding back, and you're right there at the brink of coming forth. Come on. But, you're, but you're saying, well, I, I've got saved. I remember when I uh, gave my heart to the Lord, but because since then... Now you've let things slip, and you need to rededicate your life right That's now. Right. You need to make a fresh commitment to Him so He can use you again. I want you to step out, those of you that need to rededicate right now. Yeah. There's some Come people on. that need to rededicate and make a fresh commitment to Him. Yes, yes, yes. And say, yes. Jesus, I'm coming back. Any others? I'm coming Come home. On. Come on. Come on. Come on. It Jesus, needs to be. Jesus, Jesus. I believe there's. I, I believe Thank there's. You, th there's a couple more people that need to say, you, "Lord, I want to recommit my life right now." There's some things in my life that's got out of hand. Thank some you, things that I've done is that, that, that I'm not that I'm not happy with. 
God. But God, I want to come right now and rededicate, make it fresh, a fresh start, a fresh start. Fresh start. There's somebody here that needs to give God a chance to give you a fresh start. Thank you, Jesus. Is there anybody else? Somebody already came. Is there anybody else? Quickly, quickly. Come on. We're not going to tarry. We're not going to tarry all night. But this is your opportunity to come and step Thank out right now. Jesus. Yes, yes. For a fresh yes, start. Yes, yes, yes. Fresh Thank start. Come on. Fresh start. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Fresh start. Fresh start for you. Fresh start. The anointing of God to move quickly in your life. Fresh start. Fresh start. Somebody say it. Fresh start. Amen. Amen. Now listen, all of you that are right down front, listen to me a minute. Where's Esmond at? See that man? I want you all to look. See that man's got his hand up. It's hard to see with the lights, but see, what he's got his hand up. Got two hands up now. I want everybody here in the front to follow him to the other building because we got a gift for you. We want you to know you're loved. We want you to have some literature that will let you know how much Jesus loves you. And you'll be back. And those of you... Uh, that are family and friends to these, they'll only take but a few minutes and they'll be back. But I want every one of you to follow this man. Be obedient to the Lord, okay, right now? Don't walk back, but it will be obedient. Obedience, obedience is better than sacrifice, the scripture says. Esmond, follow them out. I want y'all I, I want y'all to make your way through those doors into our fellowship hall. We're going we're gonna to follow it up. We want to make sure that someone loves on you. We want to make sure someone cares about you. If you made a decision for Christ right now, I want you to go into that next room. They'll be back in a few moments. Family, parents, friends, they'll be back with you in a few moments. Praise God. Praise God. How many of you appreciate the move of God tonight? Would somebody praise Him for that? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We, we just praise the Lord tonight. We praise the Lord tonight. He's, he's mighty. Amen. Lives have been changed. People are being touched by the power of God. In Jesus' name. How many of you appreciated this awesome drama that we just saw? Give the Lord a big hand, clap, big hand and clap for all of our people that worked so hard in a couple days to make this happen. Amen. Praise God. Will you turn the lights on, please? Turn the lights on, please, somebody. I want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Listen to me a minute. I'm the senior pastor here, Pastor George Walters. I've been pastoring here for going on 39 years. And we know God has done great and mighty things through the year. This will be the fourth time uh, that we've had heaven's gates and hell's flames and it's just as powerful today as it was uh years ago when we did it before amen but i want to thank you you guys make the difference you make this a success because you'll come out on a monday night you'll come out support this on sunday night and saturday all that it takes to make it happen we got a lot of work to do tonight we got to take all this down everything has to be taken down packed in the trailer hooked up to a motorhome and and let Brother Carl get back to Orlando tonight. So you can see we got a lot of work to do. Amen? But turn around and tell somebody, thank you for being part of this tonight. Would you do that? And before you dismiss, can I pray a blessing on you? I say, can I pray? I can pray a blessing. I want, how many of you could use a blessing? How many, how many of you want God to bless you? Here it is. Father, I come to you right now. I thank you for every person in this house. I ask that you bless them coming in, bless them going out. Bless them in the city, bless them in the country. And all that you lay your hands to, Lord, shall be blessed. And I thank you for your wonderful people that recognize the power of God. Lord, I pray for all those that are in another building that made a decision for Jesus. That, Lord, the devil won't steal that victory from them. But, God, that they'll be strong, they'll be mentored. Now, let me say this to you. Those of you listening, listen to me a minute. Let me say this. Every one of those that made a decision for Christ, somebody needs to disciple them. Did you know that Billy Graham crusades, all the thousands of people that came, only 10% of all those people actually stayed with it because somebody got to them and discipled them. If somebody don't get with them, if somebody don't share with them, disciple them, put their arms around them, love them, lead them through the Word of God, get them in a Bible study, or get them in a home group, uh, chances are, chances are, it's going to be awful hard for them to stay true to it. Amen? 
How many of you? How many of you had somebody pull up alongside of you when you got saved and walked you through some stuff? Amen. Me too. And so I believe that discipleship is the key. So I want you to discipleship somebody. All these people, if they're in your family, if they're your friends, stay true to them. Bring them through. Amen. And listen, if you belong to a local church, support your pastor, support your church. If you don't have a church home, we'd like to invite you to be here at Faith Outreach Center. Give us a chance to love on you. Give us a chance to be what you need. And, and, and this, this, this is a loving church, and we got people here that care, and they'll love on you, and they'll care for you. Amen? Amen. Well, give the Lord a great big hand clap, somebody. Amen. And then turn around and tell somebody this is the place. Amen. You're dismissed.